Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another action packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. So yesterday's video was for Margaret Taylor and she put a suggestion in. I like this. So and I put it to you guys. I said right in the comments, just let me know. If you want to see anything weird and wonderful, I'd do it. 95% of you was corn beef. Corn beef, this corn beef, that corn beef, corn beef, corn beef, we spam, spam and more corn beef. But two of you, Paul Mercury and uh, Gypsy King AJ, uh, well, thank you very much, uh, they mentioned corned beef, chilli con carne. So this is for Paul Mercury and the Gypsy King we're having, as you can see down here, all the ingredients to do a corned beef, chilli con carne. So everything here, I basically already had. Uh, I, th I had to buy the red kidney beans. I already had that, I already had that, I already had all the seasonings. I had to buy the lazy garlic as well, because I, I, you know, it's just so much easier. Saves time. Uh, yeah, we've got some cumin, we've got some hot chilli powder, some smoked paprika. We've got a bovril cube for the beef stock. Uh, some marjoram. Bit of chocolate, only need a tiny bit of that chocolate. I'm using that instead of sugar. Some tomato puree, some rice. Uh, I'm not putting salt in it because the corned beef is salty enough and that's basically it that is the ingredients the ingredients for me to do my corned beef chili con carne so uh, without further ado let's crack on right so we've got to start it somewhere and that is starting with the chopped onions I they said tomatoes but it's not it's quite clearly white onion I've cut them as small as my big massive sausage fingers will let me and uh that's going in, and then you cook these now, until they're soft. Take about five minutes, I thought. Now, that's been five minutes, and I think they're, they're translucent, aren't they? So, in go I buy red pepper. And now we're going to add uh, some spices that are uh, extremely, very lazy, YouTuber garlic. <coughs> there you go. You can use fresh garlic. Garlic cloves, but I find this is easier. And you still get garlic. Uh, it says a teaspoon of cumin. I don't know what's left in there. There's not a teaspoon, so that's all I've got. So we're going to have to live with that one, aren't we? A teaspoon of hot chilli powder. I said, when I said teaspoon, I mean a tablespoon, do you know what I mean? Bang. And a tablespoon of paprika, smoked paprika. I'm going to eyeball it. I'm not good with them spoons. Yeah. That'll do. A tablespoon of that. And I think that's it now. we just cut that out for a bit. Uh, yep. Just get that infused. Get it cooking. Get all the uh, flavours to meld together. Uh, I've probably put too much smoked paprika in. I've probably not put enough coming in. But uh, hey, it doesn't matter, does it? This is going to be absolutely... i tell you what, already smells fabulous. So uh, I'll keep cooking this for about three to five minutes. And uh, hopefully all that powder will be cooked out so it's not chalky and, you know what I mean, bitter. Plus we don't want to burn that garlic either because that will destroy it. What I did mean to mention, and I forgot there, is if you were using ground mince or mince meat, mince beef, you'd have put that in and brown it off before you put the garlic and the spices in. But because I'm using corned beef, don't need to brown it. It will take literally five minutes to cook. So, uh, our bovril beef stock. You've got a good old bovril. Thanks to Phil and his uh, bovril rescue delivery earlier on in the week. Thank you, brother. We're also going to go and make tin carrots now as well. Mm. Cheap nasty ones. 
not putting sugar in this either. I'm going to put a drop. I'm going to put some ch chocolate in it, but I'm going to put that in near the end uh, before uh, with the kidney beans. What else? My oh yeah, tomato puree. About two tablespoons of tomato. Oh, I've popped it. Yeah, hey, well, that'll do. I've been that now, knackered. Tomato puree all over the place. Just stir that in there. I'll get off. Come on, come on, Chris. Yeah, yeah scruffy bugger. Right, I'm going to let that come to uh, a bit of a boil. Then I'm going to leave it. Well, I might leave it. I'm going to turn it down. About medium. Let it just bubble away. And then I'm going to probably add the uh, corned beef in about, I'd say, about 10, 15 minutes. That's been simmering away now for about 15 minutes. And uh, we're just going to go in with our corned beef now. Like I said, if you were using mince, you'd have browned your mince off first. And you'd done that well before any spices. Also, I forgot to tell you. Uh, I, I forgot about the uh, the half a tablespoon of marjoram. Uh, off camera, I did it. It's in there, so don't worry. It was on the uh, top, and I did use it. Only half a teaspoon. <clears throat> Never ever use marjoram unless I'm doing fried chicken. So, uh, we'll see. Bit like time to me. I don't, I'm not time for me really overpowers everything. Hey, well, anyway, our corn beef's in, lads and girls, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. We're just going to leave that now to simmer down there because it is simmering nicely now. We're going to leave that to simmer for about 10 minutes. Then we're going to bang our uh, kidney beans in, which I've already washed, rinsed, and drained. And uh, at the same time, we'll throw a, a bit of chocolate in as well, for good measure. Just to get me diabetes up there through that roof. Right, I'll see you in 10 minutes. And before I stir it in, because I didn't press record proper, so I didn't, well, I didn't press it at all. Uh, in there, there's a bit of black pepper. About, about a teaspoon's worth of ground black pepper out of pepper fill. And we're going to stir that in. And uh, let that simmer now for another 8 minutes. It's, been, it's only been on there 2 minutes since I put the pepper in. Uh, when we get our kidney beans in, you can see off camera there, there's our long grain rice in its water. I ain't turned that on yet, but I'm going to turn that on as soon as the kidney beans and the chocolate go in. So, uh, yeah, virtually there, brothers and sisters. Well, that has been another 10 minutes simmering. By the way, you've got to keep stirring it as well. You don't want it sticking to the bottom of the pan. So I've been, I've been basically stood in my kitchen for 10 minutes stirring. Right, kidney beans in. Like I said, already washed and drained. Give them a stir up. Don't seem to be a lot of kidney beans in there for the size of the pan. And then just one little strip of milk chocolate. It does say actually on the BBC recipe, if you don't use it, use dark chocolate, but I don't like dark chocolate. So uh, milk chocolate it is then. So uh, yeah, I'll let that simmer. Now they say it needs to simmer for about, about 10 minutes and then you turn it off. And let it just sit there for another 10 minutes. So in all, so we're looking at about 20 minutes. So we're not, we'll get that rice on, shall we? Hey, we're nearly dishing this up. There it is, brothers and sisters. Virtually done. It smells absolutely fabulous. And you know what? Through steam and what have you, you can't really see it, but the, the colour on that is absolutely... It's like a dark, reddy, brown, beautiful colour consistency is beautiful as well with that corned beef my rice is virtually done so I need to turn this off now get that off the heat and just let that sit there for 10 minutes or at least until the rice is done so uh, next time you see this it'll be on the plate or a bowl or on the floor wherever I choose to eat it it's going to be on the plate in a second there is my rice you didn't need to see me put my rice on a on a plate did you but I've left myself a nice big well there. And let's see if I can get this in without like spilling it everywhere. Our corned beef. Chili con carne. Absolutely smells out of this world. Out of this world. I've made a pile of it. So I'm going to be eating this for at least two days, I think. Uh, let's get another spoonful in there. Let's get, because you always, you always want more filling than rice. 
Same with spaghetti bolognese, isn't it? You always want more meat and want more bolognese than you want spaghetti. Right. Fuck it, one more. Here we go. Bang. I'm going to give that a couple of minutes to cool down. I'm also going to tart the plate up and take a thumbnail. And that's it, basically, brothers and sisters. Corn beef, chilli con carne. Do you know what I did say? I'll get up here, but <laughs> as you can see, it's quite messy and it's quite liquidy underneath, so it'll probably just slide off the plate on the floor like a cow bat. So I'm going to stay down here and try it. Now, obviously, when you do something like a chilli con carne or anything like this, you can add what you want to it, especially when it comes to spice. If you've got some Carolina Reaper you want to put in there, Emily, or some atomic bomb, Emily, <laughs> you know what I mean? And you can do, it's up to you, but I've just used what the ingredients are. So it's hot chilli powder, smoked paprika, garlic, cumin. Oh, God. Absolutely banging. <clears throat> now, don't get me wrong, it's a bit watery. It's a bit tasty. Uh, a bit watery, but it is tasty. But there's no kick to it. You can smell the chilli, but you can't taste any kick to it. But you know what? It doesn't matter because that is bang tidy. You know what? You could, you could cook that a bit longer. And thicken it up, I suppose. But you know what? That just makes that great. That that, that that soaking in that them rice is soaking in that, and that makes that rice a little bit better. Otherwise, rice is boring, isn't it? Mmm. Oh, hot. Mmm. My God, that was hot. <laughs> But yeah, try this for yourselves. Corn beef. I've got to say, with all the spices in there and the kidney beans and stuff like that, and the hot, the hot chili powder, uh, I've, I can't really taste the corn beef, but it's in there, and that's what I've done. So, uh, yeah, presto, it's banging. Do you know what? I can't tip it. Uh, I should have, uh, I probably should have simmered that for another 10, 15 minutes just to uh, reduce some of that liquid. Uh, but that liquid has helped with the rice. It is tasty. Like I said, you can't really taste the corned beef. When I did the spag bowl one, it was really, really prominent. When I did the uh, uh, corned beef toast thing for Margaret Taylor yesterday, that was really prominent. The only thing you can taste in that is, is a really good chilli taste. The rice is nice and soft. It soaks in that juice. The kidney beans will take a bit a lot as well. <coughs> Let's be honest. Kidney beans are quite important as well. Uh, obviously, in there's marjoram, there's cumin, there's uh, smoked paprika. There's no heat whatsoever to it apart from the cooking process heat. But it was lovely. Thank you very much, Paul Mercury and the Gypsy King for digesting this to me. Because... You know what I mean? You take that, what I've done, and you can make it better yourself. Like I said, just simmer it a bit longer, and that all that liquid will go away, and you, your chilli will be even thicker. So basically, what I'm saying is, that was banging, and I loved it. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. I'll become a family member of Hashtag Tube CT. B! Where I fucking love you.